Good morning, everybody. This is Tom Blondahl, Hall of Fame veteran, sports cards and collectibles, coming to you with another episode of Topps Baseball Video Card Series. 1978 Topps Baseball Cards Video Series. And after we are done highlighting this set, then we will open up a Fairfield box in the channel. And that is what our content is for today. This is just my my five to ten minute preview prior to the stream that starts at 1030. So we'll get rolling here in just a few minutes. Seeing who might jump in on board before we start the stream. The show we do have Sportsline. Hello Donald. Hope you are doing well. I am Sportsline. Have not seen you in a while. Thanks for hopping on board with us today. Hopefully things are going well in your neck of the woods. Um, <clears throat> it's really nice to have you jumping on board with us today. First one in the chat. Do appreciate that. <clears throat> Dearman 2019. How you doing, Dearman? Nice to see you made it out this morning. Uh, glad to join your live stream. No problem there. You and your crew on, on lunch break yet there, Sportsline? Just kind of curious. <clears throat> so, yes, we've got about three more minutes, roughly, and we will get into the set at hand. Go over the, the introduction here. We are, all right, for the Sportsline crew, thanks for, for jumping in and listening to the stream today. We're going to go over the 1978 Topps Baseball card uh, set in our preview. And then we will open up this Fairfield box right here when we do get into the content at hand. So we got about two minutes to go here and then we will jump on board going over the history behind the set and then highlighting the cards. Um, this is when uh, Tops added more cards to the set. So there's just over 700 cards in this set. This is when the numbers started getting higher as far as how many cards in the set to collect the whole one. So that is one unique change in here. And we'll, we'll discover some other stuff as I read through the, the history lesson here behind the 1978 baseball card set. So we've got... One minute to go, one minute to go. When we do get started here, when I have to turn the page, I'll just move the, the Fairfield box here <clears throat> kind of out of the way until we get into the content at hand. So as soon as my computer clock says 10.30, we'll go ahead and get started with the 1978 Topps baseball card set. Just a few more seconds to go here. We got five, six people watching in the stream. So we're rolling right along here. All right. It is Wednesday for most people. It's hump day. As a lot of people say, hump day. Halfway through the week, the halfway mark of the week. So in just a few seconds here, it is now 10.30 and we will get into our content at hand. Um, today I am previewing and highlighting the 1978 Topps baseball card set. So some of baseball's favorite maxims proved a little undependable in 1978. For example, baseball is a young man's game. Well, there was 37-year-old Willie Stargell, who hit 28 home runs and batted in 97 runs for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Age was certainly catching up with Phil Necro. At 39, the best he could come up with was to win 19 games for a last-place Atlanta team and lead the National League in complete games and innings pitched. 45-year-old Willie McCovey was having some problems with his knees, but managed to appear in 97 games at first base for the Giants. Bat in 19 runs in the month of April alone, and wind up getting his lifetime home run production over the 500 mark. 
Then there was another 40-year-old, Gaylord Perry. Texas didn't want to take a chance with a pitcher that old, so he was traded to San Diego for a young reliever and $125,000. For the Padres, all Perry was able to accomplish was a 21-6 and record to win the Cy Young Award, becoming the oldest pitcher to gain that honor and the first ever to do it in both leagues. Then, of course, there's the surefire formula for good atten- attendance. Put a winning team on the field and the people will come out. The Pirates tied that in 1978. They finished only one and a half games behind the division-winning Phillies. Not only did they fail to draw a million, something that 20 of the 26 big league clubs accomplished, they came within 60,000 of having the worst attendance in the National League. The spending spree didn't let up and it showed no signs of leveling off, let alone dropping. Pete Rose, a native of Cincinnati, had a remarkable year, his 16th with the Reds. He tied the National League record for consecutive game hitting, collecting his 3,000th major league hit and topped it all by collecting a contract to play with the Phillies, Rose thirty at 37 reportedly signed a four-year pact calling for $3.2 million. Not everybody moved on to other clubs for money. Some stayed right where they were for more money. Pittsburgh's Dave Parker signed a Pirates contract that could under certain conditions, make him baseball's first $1 million a year player, but of course, not the last. Parker led the National League in hitting for a second straight year and was voted most valuable player, but an even more outstanding year was had by American League's MVP, Boston's Jim Rice, who led both leagues in hits, home runs, triples, runs batted in, and slugging. The pitcher's equivalent of that would be the year that Ron Guidry enjoyed. The Yankee left-hander was 25-3, and had an ERA of 1.74, tying Sandy Koufax for the lowest ERA by a left-hander in 45 years, struck out more batters than any Yankee pitcher in history, and had nine shutouts, tying the American League record for left-handers set by a Boston pitcher back in 1916, a fellow named Babe Ruth. Picking between Guidry and Rice as most valuable player was a difficult job because both played such important roles in getting their teams to where they finished at the end of the season. And where they finished was in a dead heat for first place. As a result, there was a playoff to see which team... Sorry, got to switch my pages here be in the playoffs. It was a single game in Boston with the Red Sox leading 2-0. Bucky Dent, who had hit four home runs all season, hit a three-run shot and put the Yankees ahead. They held on to the lead, although in the bottom of the ninth, Boston had a man on third with two out and Carl Ustremski at the plate. But Yaz popped up, and the Yankees were the champs. The Yankees' playoff against Kansas City went four games with Guidry winning the clincher in Game 3. Kansas City's George Brett hit three home runs, but the Royals lost. In the National League, it was another four-game playoff with the Dodgers beating the Phillies. In the World Series, the Yankees spotted the Dodgers the first two games, and they won four straight to take their second World Series in a row. In other news, the umpire staged a one-day strike on August 25th. Eddie Matthews was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Dodgers coach and longtime player Jim Gilliam died of a massive brain hemorrhage. And Angels outfielder Lyman Bostock died when a man missed his intended victim and shot Bostock instead. So the cards in this set... After five consecutive years of 660 card sets, Top issued this set of 726 cards, the Record Breaker Special, 
Cards number one through seven feature Lou Brock, Sparky Lyle, Willie McCovey, Brooks Robinson, Pete Rose, Nolan Ryan, and Reggie Jackson. Jackson is also on the World Series card, number 413. The leader cards, numbered 201 through 208, picture, among others, Rod Carew, Jim Rice, Steve Carlton, Jim Palmer, and Ryan. The set also has 11 rookie cards, cards number 700 through 711, with cards number 708 showing Dale Murphy and Lance Parrish as catchers. So there we have it. That is the history behind this set. All right, Robert Hone, there you go. How you doing there, Robert? Nice to have you hopping in with us. Kevin's here. Kevin, card collecting and more. Hopefully you're feeling a lot better there, Kevin. Uh, I know you've been out. It was nice seeing you on SSP's uh, Hobby Box break last night. I have to go back and try and catch that video and watch the rest of it. I know he said he was going to finish posting that up. So, let me move this out of the way for now, off to the side here. While we get ready, I'm going to get ready to undock my 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 phone. Um, and then we will highlight through these cards in this set. Okay? I haven't seen many of these cards through the years. Um, this was the year before I joined the Navy. But in 1977, I had graduated from high school, and actually that is when I came out to Washington State to spend the summer with my aunts and uncles. And that's when I decided to stay out in Washington and just loved it out here. So without further ado, let's get into these. I will try to hold the camera, my phone, as, as steady as possible as we go through these 726 cards in this set. So, of course, here the first seven cards are the record breaker cards for uh, the different types. So, you got Lou Brock there, Sparky Lyle, Willie McCovey, Brooks Robinson, Pete Rose, Nolan Ryan, Reggie Jackson. All right. And then, as we go through these, some of the ones that kind of stand out for me from what I remember back in the day Phil Necro with the Braves. I will shout out their names and their teams and shout out some of the channels for some of my regular faithful channel goers here so probably every page I'll take a quick glance at the chat when we change the page to make sure I'm keeping track in case anybody has any questions there is Pete Rose with the Reds Bump Wills Gold Cup card with the Rangers Right. George Hendrick with the San Diego Padres. Shout out to Kevin's card collecting and more. We won't see any uh, Arizona Diamondbacks in this set. They weren't around back then. Gary Templeton with the Cardinals. Willie McCovey with the Giants. Sparky Lau with the Yankees. Eddie Murray, Gold Cup card with the Orioles. Yes, cards in the house. <laughs> yeah, that was that was too bad last night. I was just getting ready to go to bed and seeing that you guys that he was live, and so I jumped in real quick and I think it was me, Kevin, and SSP. There might have been somebody else. I don't remember seeing somebody, though. But, yeah, I was, felt bad that he, he lost his connection there with the Internet. But those things happen. remember this set all that much because I was again a senior in high school graduated after I graduated from high school my mom and dad bought me a, 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 a train ticket I actually came cross country on the train the Amtrak from uh, New Jersey to Seattle 
that was a an adventure and a trip in itself, but I'll never forget it. That was my first ever super long train ride cross country. There's Mitchell Page, Gold Cup card. But that was um, an awesome trip cross country on train. Uh, the Red Sox, Don Zimmer. Remember, they took me to the train station, put me on the train, and then my aunt and uncle picked me up at the train station when I got to Seattle. Andre Dawson, Gold Cup card. That'd be a cool card to have. Rich Goose Gossage with the Yankees back when he was a young tyke there. Good morning there, NASCAR. Checklist. First checklist. In the set, cards 1 to 121. All right. Giants team card. Ken Griffey Sr. with the Cincinnati Reds. Baltimore Orioles team card. I like these cards here where they show the older, small little snapshot of the player and then uh, the current picture of the player. Pretty much when they were, uh, I think, in the minors and then in up into the majors. Willie Hernandez with the Cubs. George Brett with the Royals. All-star card. Tom Murray with the Blue Jays. Mike Tyson with the Cardinals, not the boxer. Not the boxer, Mike Tyson. The Astros back in the day, you can see their old color uniforms back in the day, back in the 70s. Gary Carter with the Expos. Denny Martinez with the Orioles. John Mott. Took you with the Seattle Mariners, Tucker Ashford with the San Diego Padres, yeah. Kevin's card collecting, Gary Nolan, Dennis Eckersley with the Cleveland Indians. There we go, Dave Rosama, Gold Cup card. Burt Blylevin with the Rangers. Rupert Jones, Gold Cup card with the Seattle Mariners. I got similar to that emblem on my hat right now for this era. Wayne Gross with the Oakland Athletics, Gold Cup card. There we go, Rick Monday, but today's Wednesday. Don't mind me, my terrible humor. 
Bobby Bonds with the Angels. Joaquin Andujar with the Astros. Lou Pinello when he was playing ball for the New York Yankees. Jim Palmer with the Orioles All-Star card. Bob Boone. I do remember Bob Boone, the catcher for the Phillies. Oh, yeah. Reggie Smith with the Dodgers. Dave Concepcion, all-star card. Gene Garber with the Philadelphia Phillies. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these sets that we've been going through. And been enjoying this series. We're getting closer. We've got about 10 more weeks to go. So we're getting closer to wrapping up this series. Don't know for sure if I can find the content to continue all the way up to date. I'll have to see what I can find around. Or see a place where I can find the information about the, sit, the sets and tops after 1986. But this has been an awesome series to go through. Just highlight some of these older cards for prosperity's sake. Reggie Jackson with the Yankees. Craig Reynolds with the Seattle Mariners. Right. Doc Ellis with the Rangers. Jose Cardinal with the Philadelphia Phillies. Al Haraboski with the Cardinals. Dick Poe with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> Kevin likes when I shout out my Seattle Mariners. <laughs> All right. As we say here in Seattle, true to the blue. True to the blue. <clears throat> I like that. Some serious airbrushing in this set. Check out Greg Minton and Dave Kingman. <laughs> Probably about a third of the way through the set here. A little bit more than a third, probably.
Hey, Frank's Card Corner. Hey, gang, how's everyone today? Some serious airbrushing in this set. Oh, man, did my... Oh, okay. Just nobody recently has uh, really uh, texted anything new. <laughs> I thought maybe I had missed something there. Enrique Romo with the Seattle Mariners. Buddy Bell with the Indians. Yankees team card. Ben Ogilvy with the Tigers. Steve Yeager with the Dodgers. <clears throat> our third team card there. Joe Morgan, all star card. There we go, our famous Cubbies card with the portrait shots. I don't know why they don't do a regular team card for sure. A team card picture, it's probably... They haven't made an agreement to be able to get that set up so that they could do it on the field as a team. I don't know. Some people just weren't that way in the day, I guess. Jose Baez with the Seattle Mariners. Don Sutton with the Dodgers. Cliff Johnson with the Yankees. Henry Cruz with the White Sox, Dave Johnson with the Phillies, Tom Griffin with the San Diego Padres, Kevin's card collecting. close to the, the halfway mark in the set here. Um, I don't know for sure, Dearman. Sorry. Um, I've got an appointment after we're done the stream here. Got to meet with our pa my pastor. And a few things like that. It just depends on what time we finish the stream. I know what time I have to meet him. Right around lunchtime. I think we're maybe going to have lunch or a coffee together. Alright, so sorry about that, buddy. I might be doing a stream yard coming up soon, though. In case you wanted to try and share something on the channel, maybe. That's my thoughts as to why you wanted to do a stream yard. But yeah, I won't be able to do that today, buddy. Okay. All right, thank you. Appreciate you giving, the, giving me a response on that. Sorry, I just looked up and I saw you had asked once before. Sorry, I'd missed it. Trying to go through these cards and try and pay tribute to some of the, the names that I know pretty much. Here we go. Mike Schmidt with the Philadelphia Phillies. I used to watch him all the time. Interesting response. Laugh at KKK. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully Kevin's starting to feel better. We miss have, not having him on his, his live, live programming. Hopefully he's getting... Uh, hopefully you're on the mend there, Kevin. We miss you. I mean, at least it's nice. You, you've been doing pretty good getting your Bible reading up or your devotion. 
And I just recorded some more episodes for my Bible reading yesterday. That's what I had to do along with finishing up my church work for end of last year with people's giving statement. Our Posada, hey Donald, hope you're having a great day. I'm at work right now. Oh, that's what I figured there. Robert, glad to have you in the stream watching. I don't know if you, are you on your lunch break right now? We are over the halfway mark going through this set. Ted Simmons with the St. Louis Cardinals. I miss streaming, but I am just waiting to get my voice back. I do my devotion, but I'm absolutely winded at the end of them. Oh, I remember how that was when I... It was tough doing some of the lunch breaks. Yeah, going on lunch right now. Cool. Thanks there, Robert. Tim Holtzman with the Yankees. Shout out to, to Frank's Card Corner. Oscar Gamble with the San Diego Padres. Bob Stinson with the Seattle Mariners. Okay. Pete McCannon with the Expos. Tigers team card here. American League Championships. National League Championships, World Series. Darrell Knowles with the Montreal Expos. Greg Lazinski, powerhouse hitter. Greg Lazinski with the National League All-Star. Jerry Garvin, Gold Cup card. Mike Garvin with the Dodgers. Steve Braun with the Seattle Mariners. Cincinnati Red, or the Boston Red Sox. I seen the red. Okay. Checklist card, card number 435, less than 300 cards to go. <laughs> Few more days, Leroy Stanton with the Seattle Mariners this Sunday's uh, the Seattle Mariners first televised uh, spring training game. So I will be trying to to peek in on that Sunday afternoon here. Between church. Oh, that's cool. Hopefully Friday you'll go live again. We'll pray that everything goes fine with you there, Kevin, and that you'll get your voice back and get your health back. Your health is first and foremost in the channel and in life. <laughs> but yeah, sure do miss not seeing Kevin go live. Get on his channel and help support his channel too. I'm trying a lot of, I'm doing a lot of work in the back of my channel trying to create the playlists I got the one for this series created so as I finish these I'm an, I'm an old man Donald lunch is when I'm hungry 
just got in from veterans Bible study. Oh, that is cool there, Robert. That is cool. You're an old man. Well, that must mean you're definitely older than me then. Just, just rolling around here, chuckling inside. We're only as old as we feel, Robert. But sometimes I do feel old. Bill Stein with the Seattle Mariners. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I always like that input. Any food for thought and stuff, I will take into account. Again, uh, the only one I've really worked on so far, I want to do one for my uh, Books of the Bible video series also. I'm just um, coming up with a design for the thumbnail for the Bible reading. Um, the thumbnail for the Bible reading, I'd probably want to put the book name, of course, and then the chapters for that video on the thumbnail. Um, so any input, I do appreciate there, Frank. That's what we're here for, to work as a team, help improve the channels, uh, and, of course, work on getting more views. That's always nice, awesome. Also, awesome. <laughs> so, Kevin does nice thumbnails for his Bible videos. You immediately know they are Bible, they are Bible readings. Yes, yes, he does. But I don't want to steal his thought, but I want to come up with my own for my uh, my books of the Bible. So the Bible is a book together, but each book in the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, is its own separate book. Although it does coincide in a sequence of events. So that's what I'm trying to come up with for that. And here we're getting off subject. I'm trying to pay attention to the cards at hand that we're working on, but that's okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm working on uh, a concept and a theme of what I want it to look like. Yes, they're definitely separate from baseball cards. Um, that's why I had the thumbnail up for this one for the 1978 top set. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm trying to decide to come up with in that. But I am always up for any suggestions on that. Um, I know me and Kevin kind of collaborate with each other in conjunction with that whole process. Because um, in the description of my video, I refer people to his. Uh, daily devotions and then I know he does in the description of his videos a a uh, link to my Bible reading also uh, we've collabed together for that that's for sure I get stumped on my thumb thumbnails sometimes too sometimes it's hard to decide I exactly you want something that pops but I don't want it to be too outlandish I want it to be uh, theme oriented probably f throughout the Bible reading series that way when people see that thumbnail they'll know that's my Bible reading video and then it will list the book and the chapters that are being read for that thumbnail um, I can use a basic uh, uh, what do you call it a basic thumbnail and replicate them so that is one thing that I can do, and then I can choose each one and insert the text on that thumbnail. And that's the process that I'll be working on with those. And then it's just a matter of going through each video and then putting that thumbnail in there for each one. I, how I store my cards. As a thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, that would be, I guess, different storage 
ways or items. Uh, that, that's an interesting one. I like that. I had no idea what the show was a thumbnail. That's the way I get some time. And then that for, for this baseball card series, that's what came to me was taking a shot of the, the front page for the set. And then adding the text in there, which I've got to do on, on this one here. So I'll just go in and open up that graphic and then add that text line in there. So that's what is always continually a work in progress until you get it caught up with the theme of that playlist and that group. John Hale with the Seattle Mariners. Who knows, I might have missed a Mariner earlier when we were talking. But we are getting close to card number 600, which leaves 120-some cards to go. Dave Frieselman with the San Diego Padres. Gary Willock. With the Seattle Mariners. Sixto Lescano with the Atlanta Braves. Or was that the Milwaukee Braves back in the day? Were they still called Milwaukee? Oh no, that's the Brewers. Milwaukee Brewers. Duh, pay attention to who you're looking at there, Ronda. Braves. That's why the, the fancy writing here Brewers, Braves. Uh, I read it wrong. Doesn't surprise me sometimes. <laughs> the outtakes. Yeah, a bloopers video sometimes. Oh, I'm sure that Frank would do something like that. And he would probably add some interesting stuff onto it. That would be cool. Johnny Grubb. The Indians... Right, getting closer here. Got, I think, a couple more pages to go. Then we will have this one here wrapped up. Oh, okay. That's what it is. That's the manager cards with the little postage stamp luck, huh? But does that show them when they were playing ball? Or is it just, uh, or is the postage stamp their, their manager picture? Oh, I think they, oh, maybe, maybe they don't. Maybe they haven't recently done manager cards. That's right. I haven't fully paid well no yeah i don't think i've seen manager cards in the newer sets or just an early photo of them okay yeah like the phillies danny ozark there yeah i think the older picture looks like because i think uh i think danny ozark was a a catcher back in the day or a fielder No, it looked like he was fielding a ball in that picture. Lee May with the Orioles. Cesar Cedeno with the Houston Astros. Doug Rader with the Blue Jays. Another checklist. Which brings us to the end of the set coming up soon. It's the final checklist.
Brent Jackson with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Shout out to Eric Jabs. Jim Rice with the Red Sox. Pete Falcone. I had a, a, a coach in high school. I didn't do much sports in, in, in high school. We didn't have a baseball team, but they had football and such. And Robert Falcone was one of the coaches on uh, the sports athletics in our high school. Robert Falcone. Pete Falcone. Dusty Baker with the Dodgers. All right. Um. Oh, yeah, 78. That's right. That's right. The Mariners' early year when they finally made it, got their team in the kingdom. Okay, our last page and a few cards on the final page. So here we go. Frank Tavares with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Gaylord Perry. Mariners and the Blue Jays. Yeah, I think that was the two expansion teams, the Toronto Blue Jays. I don't, did we say, yeah, I guess we saw some Toronto Blue Jays in here. Indians, Cleveland Indians. We are getting closer to the end. There's the Juan Bernhardt with the Seattle Mariners. Johnny Bench. Boy, look at the young Johnny Bench here in this one. Rookie pitchers. Rookie catchers. Rookie catchers. Rookie shortstops. Alan Trammell. Rookie here. Um, rookie first baseman. Rookie outfielders, rookie second baseman, rookie pitchers, rookie pitchers, rookie outfielders. I have the Molitor Trammell card coming up here. One of my favorites in my collection. Super short print cards is in the house. How you doing there, sir? Hey, Kevin. Bobby Valentine. All right. Six more cards to go after we finish this page. Almost done here. Nelson Browse with the Orioles. Clarence Gaston with the Braves. Jim Cat. With the Philadelphia Phillies. Last six cards in the, the set. The Yankees. Manager. Pete Broberg with the Chicago Cubs. Johnny Wackenfuss with the Detroit Tigers. Kansas City Royals team card. Kurt Bavacqua with the... Texas Rangers, and last but not least, Wilbur Wood with the Chicago White Sox. So there we have it, guys and gals, whoever might be in the stream. That is our set for this week. Next week, we will get into... This is my, my bookmark. <laughs> we will get into the 1979 set next week. I got a package in my mailbox. I just got my alert from the post office. All right. So this will be what we will do next week. Let me, uh, let me redock my, my phone here. Okay. Let me set it off here for a second. You can see my, uh, my break, my separation table, my, uh, my 
my cheat sheet for my Hall of Famers. This is what I use for my cheat sheet. It has lists all the Hall of Famers from my uh, Beckett Baseball last year when they came out with the new one. But until they come up with a new one, hopefully they'll list all the Hall of Famers in a new one coming up here that has uh, the two, two, 2020 Hall of Famers listed in it. But next, we're going to get into our Fairfield box. I know this is this will take place of till Kevin does his Fairfield break on our box on on uh, Friday. I'm sure he'll be doing his Fairfield when when we come up on Friday here. He's gonna do his live stream. So we are gonna open up this Fairfield. It does have a Cleveland Indian in there. All right. Uh, can't make out the name, but we can see the cards here. We will probably do the pack of cards last, and we'll see. Or maybe I should do it like 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 uh, Kevin does and do the first half, open up the pack, and then do the second half. Any any thoughts on how to do this one for sure? One of less than five players to play in four separate decades. Oh, Jim Cat. Four separate. Oh, did he start in the end of one group? Play for, he must have played for t close to 30 years maybe. So he overlapped the, the other two decades. That's pretty cool, though. <clears throat> but we're going to open up this Fairfield box. I do have some Fairfields in my collection. Looks like somebody kind of pulled on that one, but I'm going to I'm going to do like what the way Kevin does it. I know he opens the box so he can see the dates. This was a June June 26, 2019. This when oh, he, he played from 59 to 83. Wow. He he was playing the whole time before I before I joined the Navy. Okay, we're going to set that there I know that's the one that was in the front of the box Jose Ramirez All right the box is empty it has the little platform down there let me put this box up here All right we'll put the box right up there showing our Fairfield and then we will get into this first half of the stack. And then we have the, uh, let's see, what package is this one? The 80, da, da, da. is this the 80, 88 Donruss maybe? I'm thinking that might be the 88 Donruss. Oh my word, we got somebody on the bottom there. That's nice. I, of course there's somebody on the bottom. <laughs> But we will set these up here. We'll go through these cards. Okay. Um, I got Ty second half of my hobby box done masked. What? I like to open the pack at the end. We can maybe do that. We'll see. I just I just like to like to do it different sometimes. But we'll go through uh, these cards here. So of course this is. Um, kind of a it's a it's definitely a red i don't think all those were red so that's i believe a variation card that they kind of put on the front there but uh jose ramirez with the the cleveland indians and then uh let's see dun, dun, dun. nick mccarcus markakis with the atlanta braves um flip and flopping and um, Brandon Duckworth with the Philadelphia Phillies. Brandon Duckworth. Alex Cole for the studio. All right. Alex Cole. Fred McGriff. All right. Sammy Stewart there. Sammy Stewart with the Baltimore Orioles. Oh, man. Can't even keep them on there. Sammy Stewart with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Derek Lindquist. With the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Otis Nixon with the Montreal Expos. Then we got the score 1990. There's a rookie card from Mike Huff. Rookie card from Mike Huff. Willie Randolph, second baseman for the Oakland A's. Tim Bertas with the Cincinnati Reds. Glenn Davis 
with the Houston Astros. Uh, Danny Jackson with the Cincinnati Reds. Got a lot of 90 and 91 product here. 90 Don Russ, Doug Jones with the Indians. 90 Don Russ, Alex Trevino with the Houston Astros. There we go, San Diego Padres, Craig Nettles. What year is this one again? 88 tops. Okay, Frank Tanana with the Tigers. Ken Howell with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Mike Morgan with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Cecil Fielder, Diamond King. All right, there we go. Mickey Brantley with the Seattle Mariners. Oh. Uh, Bob Walk with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Four more to go. All right. Mark Davidson with the Twins. Um, Kenny Rogers with the Rangers. Willie Blair with the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Ed Vandenberg with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Rick Mahler with the Braves. Uh-oh. I think we did get a hit. I just pulled the card out by accident. Oh, this is a cool looking color. I like this. Oh, opening day 2003. Los Angeles Dodgers opening day. I don't think I have many cards from that set. And we can see we did get a hit. And it's a rookie. A rated rookie from Optic. All right. Probably a no-name, but uh, uh, autograph nonetheless. Okay, one in four boxes contain a hit. I guess I got a hit. Francisco Cabrera, first baseman. Oops. For the Atlanta Braves. And here we go. There's our hit. Dylan Peters with Optic on card scribble there. <laughs> for 2018 Panini. Just get this at least top loaded for now and put that in my separation box here for autographs and short print cards and stuff that I don't necessarily PC or anything like that. Check it out on eBay and see if I should lift, list that one up on eBay. Oh, here. I'll leave this up here for now. Since we did get a hit in the box. Nothing too late, great, and breaking for the rest so far. Sweet, it's a hit. Yep. Two for the autograph. How's that sound? Two bell ringers for the autograph. Oh, wow. 1983 uh, Donruss, Tom Niedenfuhrer with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Oh, too bad that wasn't a better player. This is a silver signature for uh, from uh, Upper Deck Baseball back in the day. They would do um, these inserts. They're printed on the card, but still does increase the value because they are shorter print cards back in the day. They had silver signatures and gold signatures. Of course, the gold signatures were harder to find. But that's awesome. little hit there. Not super, super. Tim Poo with the Reds. All right. And who else do we got here? Um, uh, Chad Curtis with the Detroit Tigers. Tim Salmon. All right. This is the um, Ted Williams set that they produced back in the day. Um, Ameri uh, an MVP season with Tim Salmon. All right. Then we've got here, oh my word, they got a basketball mixed in here. What is up with that? <laughs> Steve Howe with the New York Yankee Pinstripers. Brent Price. I don't even know if that guy's good or anything, but how'd the basketball get mixed up in the tops? They must have missed that on quality control. I don't know what we'll do with that. We'll look it up and see if it's worth anything. Probably not. Tim Leary with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Bowman Chrome card. That is pretty cool. Get a Bowman Chrome in here. Set that one just aside for now and look that one up. Um, 
Curtis Butler, Kingsport pitcher, star, minor league card. Uh, minor league card, the Star Company, 1989. Chris Butler with the Mets. Sid Bream with the Atlanta Braves. Um, Sandy Alomar Jr. with the Cleveland Indians. All right. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, he puts basketball in there. Fire basketball. So, uh, Brent Price. All right. Don't know much about him. Do you know who he is there, Posada, Robert? That's cool. I'll set him aside there for now. You can tell me what you know about him. Uh, Jamie Moyer with the Chicago Cubs. Delino DeShields with the Montreal Expos. Don Baylor with the Twins. Tim Burke with the Expos. Well, there we go. A 1987 checklist card. Tony Ber Bernard Bernazard. Um, Glenn Davis with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Craig Worthington. All right. Craig Worthington with the Baltimore Royals. Should have known that with the color there. Um, Bud Black with the Royals. And Throw Your Hands in the Air, Yelich and Kane. This is from uh, 2018 Tops Update Series. So not too bad for the first half. Okay, so let's uh, go through the second half here, and we will uh, toss this one up on the top here, near the top, on the top. We'll do the baseball card pack last here. We got a Seattle Mariner, Mitch Hanniger, Mitch Hanniger with the Seattle Mariners. All right, first Mariner that I noticed, um, Chris Knobholtz. With the Montreal Expos. Dwayne Ward with the Toronto Blue Jays. Oh, there you go, Kevin. I know you always point out the double back to back cards. The Dwayne Ward is our back to back here. Jimmy Key with the Blue Jays. Walt Weiss with the Athletics. Tim Tufel with the Mets. Uh, there we go. Another rookie, uh, Bobby Rose, infielder. To 1990 score. All right, Jack Clark with the St. Louis Cardinals. Mike Schooler with the Seattle Mariners. All right. I think maybe we did have another Mariner or two in there. I didn't pull them out. I have to separate them out later. Paul Gibson with the Detroit Tigers. Bob Welch with the Oakland A's. 89 Fleer, right? Isn't that the 89 Fleer? Yep. 89 Fleer. Charlie Hayes. Kurt Ford with the Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, there we go. Road Games. Upper Deck. <laughs> Wally Coyote. Question. Speedy Gonzalez is best known for his appearance in Fritz Freling cartoons and the Oscar won by Freling Speedy Gonzalez in 1955. Speedy made his first appearance in what 1953 cartoon directed by uh, Robert Kimpson? The answer is Cat Tales for Two. Put that right on the bottom of the card there. Cat Tales for Two. Well, that's a neat little insert for a uh, what year was this? 1991 Upper Deck. I didn't know they put those in 1991 Upper Decks. Must be a harder card to find. I don't remember seeing any of those when I went through those 91 products. Uh, Mike Gallego with the Athletics. Julio Franco with the Rangers. Bruce Bochy with the Padres, right? San Diego Padres, Kevin's card collecting. Mike Lavari with the Pirates. Jose Rijo with the Don Russ Leaf. Right? This is still Don Russ product. Well, Leaf product. Uh, Jeff Parent with the, the Athletics. Luis Salazar with the Cubs. 
Um, Greg Gagne with the Minnesota Twins, I believe, isn't it? Yep, Minnesota Twins. Uh, Frank DePino with the Boston with the St. Louis Cardinals. Chris Wilkerson with the Cubs. Mark Davis with the San Diego Padres. All right. As soon as I turn these and go through a few, they'll turn back the other way. Lance Johnson with the White Sox. Doug Jones with the Indians. Sean Hillegas with the, the White Sox. John Denny with the Reds. All right. Um, Tim Nering with the Boston Red Sox. Well, there we go. Randy Kramer and Miguel Garcia, Major League Prospects. All right. I can go with my rookie separation there. Um, Andy Allenson with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Randy Bush with the Twins. Bill Madlock with the Tigers. Um, Kurt Wilkerson with the Rangers. Boy, that card's kind of beat up. Wonder where they found that one. Um, Ozzie Guillen with the Chicago White Sox. Doug Jones, relief pitcher with the Indians. Um, Lee Smith. Lee Smith with the St. Louis Cardinals. Lance Parrish with the Angels. Um, Denny Neagle with the Atlanta Braves. Daryl Evans with the Detroit Tigers. Got our famous checklist. For 87 baseball card. Uh, Jody Davis with the Chicago Cubs. Um, Hale McRae with the Kansas City Royals. Rick Burleson. Sorry, I had to get something that notification out of the way. Rick Burleson with the Angels. Oh, big leg baseball. Ian Kinsler, second baseman. That's weird. That's an odd little. They must have had some big league cards from 2019 thrown in the mix here. Um, Addison. Oh, no. Let's go this way. Um, ben Revere with the Angels. Another big league. Yario Munoz with the St. Louis Cardinals and Addison Russell with the Chicago Cubs World Series card. That's 2018. All right. So that's it for that. Now we'll get into our pack. So a few cards. Did get our one auto, so we did get a hit. Out of the one and four contain a hit. And let's open up the Don Ross baseball pack here. Stan Musial. Okay. All right, let's see. This is the... ...1987 Leaf product. Okay, 1987. Of course, there's our Stan Musial right there. Hall of Fame puzzle piece. That'll go in my puzzle box. Got to try and see how many puzzle sets I can throw together one of these days. Uh, Jack McDowell, rated rookie. Um, Mike Brumley with the Chicago Cubs. I'm trying to remember now who's in the 88 set. Uh, John Candelaria. Paul Molitor. There we go, Paul Molitor. Hall of Famer on that one. Harry Spillman with the Giants. Uh, Jim Gott with the Pirates. Randall Byers with the Padres. Tom Newell with the Phillies. Terry Leach with the Mets. Cal Ripken Jr. That's a hit for me. Cal Ripken MVP card from 1988. That's a cool card. That's my Hall of Famer collection and my Cal Ripken collection mainly. Will Clark, Diamond King, Tony Fernandez, Diamond King, Montreal, or Toronto Blue Jays, I mean. Uh, Don August with the Brewers, Jose Mesa with 
the Baltimore Orioles and Mark Thurmond with the Detroit Tigers. So a couple of Hall of Famers. I might have missed one or two in there. That's fine. Um, we did get a couple of different types of cards. A silver signature, uh, collector's choice upper deck, Tim Poog with the Reds, and the Bowman Chrome for uh, Tristan McKenzie. This is from a 2018 Bowman Chrome. Okay. They get a couple of rookies. This was our hit in the box. Dylan Peters, Miami Marlins, rated rookie from Optic Don Russ, 2018. So, nice little auto there. I'll set that aside in my separation there. And, of course, we did get the, the basketball card. Brent Price with the bullets. Brent Price with the bullets. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so that wraps us up for today. I'm doing pretty good on time. I want to finish by 12 o'clock. That's my goal. So I do appreciate that. Um, so I'm trying to remember from that last night. So are you just doing this as a, 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 a team break? And I guess all the teams will be randomized as far as the spots. So I guess that means there's uh, 30. Yeah, there's 30 teams, right? 30 baseball teams. Is that why you had 30 spots there? Thanks for the plug, Kevin. Yeah, that's no problem. I don't mind things like that being put on here. Plus, uh, super short print car breaks. You're one of my moderators now, so you could actually... You, I do not mind you guys promoting your channels on here. That is no problem for me. And don't feel bad about doing it. Um, that's why we're here. We're a team. We're a group. We hang out together. We sort cards together. We share cards together. We we share, share our content um, around the channels yes 30 random teams okay so there's so I'd, I'd have a, a 4 out of 30 chance to maybe get the Seattle Mariners <laughs> will you be accepting trades for people that want to trade teams before you do do the break <laughs> just teasing um, uh, So on your channel, do you have your PayPal? You, I take it you want this paid through PayPal? <laughs> Trades accepted. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Um, but I don't know. Might be better off with another team. I haven't been pulling too many Mariners in my tw in the 2020 tops, really. I've only have like a, hand, a handful. I could probably almost count my Seattle Mariners I've found on all the 2020 tops I've broken. I'm probably one hand. But... Um, I can't guarantee I'll be there when you break the box open, but um, I'll take the last four spots. Okay, unless somebody pays before me, I'll take the last four spots. So that'll be $24, right? I will take the last four spots. I can just see it. Donald gets the Diamondbacks and I'll get the Mariners. Oh, that's okay, Kevin. If, if that happened, we could probably trade. <laughs> but um and and right now in case I don't make it if Kevin did get the mirrors and if I did get the diamondbacks yes we can do a swap and I'll just put that out right now but um so I just need uh yeah $24 okay I just need is is your PayPal listed on your channel If your PayPal's listed on your channel I can just go there and just uh look it up Kevin said, oh, we're shot. We're swapping for sure. <laughs> no, that's no problem there, Kevin. Okay. So, yeah. When when are you planning on opening this SSP? I'm just kind of curious now that all the spots are filled. Um, when are you going to try and do the, the jumbo box break? Oh, 
okay it's your your email address is in the about me section of your page okay as soon as I get off the stream here in a few minutes I will pay for my spots okay um, you're gonna open it tomorrow Do you know about what time yeah tomorrow works better for me because today we got church tonight um, but thanks appreciate that I, I, I will try to be there as much as possible um, but yeah so let me go ahead and end this stream here so I can uh, pay for my spots I just bought. Uh, SPCB. I'll call you SSPCB. <laughs> Doesn't really sound too good, but I'll just call you SSP. Super short print card breaks. <laughs> it's a lot easier than super short print card breaks. I know, but mine, Donald Wondahl, by God's grace. Um... But yeah, so as soon as I get off here, I will send you the PayPal payment, okay? So without further ado, let me uh, position my camera here, do my Donald Wamdahl sign off here, turn the camera around, get in the picture here, all right? This is my shirt I usually wear for my uh, Topps History video series. That's the shirt I wear. And I am wearing the throwback hat for the Seattle Mariners, just like it was, was pretty much on the the baseball caps in this set here. Of course, it was the little bit bigger emblem here. I think the emblem was a little bit bigger. But other than that, um, I will get off and go right to your channel and uh, s send that PayPal payment, okay? So, without further ado, I'm going to get ready to sign off here. We are just over an hour on the stream that works for me because I do have uh, some things I got to do this afternoon in preparation for church this evening go out and have a, either a coffee break or a lunch break with my pastor and uh, so we will see you guys same bat time same bat channel tomorrow tomorrow will be our uh, our player biography I haven't decided for sure but I will post it up later today so you have an ideal of who I am going to do there. So this is Don Blondahl Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards and Collectibles. Having been live to you uh, with our 1978 Topps baseball card set. That was a unique year for me because that was the year that I joined the United States Navy. Way back in history. <laughs> So, 1978, I started my 20-year journey in the United States Navy. So, you guys take care. Have a wonderful day. And we will see you guys around the channels, okay? You guys have a blessed day and have a good time at church. For those that go to church tonight, and we will see you around the channels, okay? Bye for now. Take care.